Is that gonna be our car? Oh, okay, here's the color. Uh, it's gonna be white. There are three types of people who will watch this review. The people who want to buy a Tesla Model 3. The people who want to justify the impulse purchased. Or the people who actually enjoy my videos. I want to start off with three Tesla Model 3 strong points. I love having the ability to charge the car from home rather than topping off at the gas station. Imagine a parallel world where you have to put gas in your phone rather than plug it in to charge. That may sound absurd, but we are doing it now with the majority of cars on the road. Electric cars are cleaner both to the environment and to the car itself, as there is no engine to collect oils and dust. I love minimal. From having shoes with no laces, to desk with only the necessary components display. This is what I carry every day. Just 4 cards and a OnePlus 6T. I do not need to carry keys as the Tesla Model 3 at my house can be locked and unlocked from my phone. After I pre-ordered the Model 3, the only thing I could think about was not having to carry bulky keys anymore. It does not matter what supercar is next to you. In a city from one red light to another, the instant torque will give you the advantage. Once you press the accelerator, it will go. Most people that pre-order the Model 3 do not know how it drives. I was the same and can tell you that it is not as grounded, even with the heavy battery low to the ground. When you turn at moderate to high speed, you will get body roll. <coughs> and since the seat does not hurt your body like a sport car, you will feel like you do not get the support you deserve, like an unhappy marriage. <coughs> you might think this is true for any car, but I had a Subaru BRZ. And that car has a low center of gravity, and turning on a BRZ is a work of art. I set my driving mode to sport, and that stiffened the suspension and steering. Combining that with instant torque, the Model 3 looks innocent and tamed, but it's a monster under the hood or under the car as there is no engine. The Model 3 exterior looks simplistic and yet sophisticated. The front reminds me of a Porsche, with the flat headlights, the back of a Lancer, and the sides of a BRZ which happens to be my previous ride, but due to a flooding incident, I decided to get the Model 3, since water and electric car go well together. Nikki had mentioned that the side looks like a pencil, which explains why it has a drag coefficient of 0.23. Taking the crown from the Model S of 0.24, the champion of all sedan since 2014, what car has the best drag coefficient from 2010 to 2014? Hint, it starts with a P. The aero wheel hub is another innovation for the Model 3, providing 4.3% more efficient per mile. Not only it is smart, it is also one of a kind. But if you don't like the look, you can remove it, revealing an okay-ish set of rims underneath. However, you need to spend $50 or the new price of $65 for the cap kit to cover those exposed wheel lugs and centerpiece. If you are in a big city, I would recommend removing it, as there have been incidents where it just vanished. I have a video on how to remove the Tesla Model 3 wheel hubs without scratching the rims if you want to remove yours or someone else. Just remember, cover your face to combat sentry mode. Back on that later. The side mirrors can be folded automatically based on locations. This is a feature I was waiting for and came as an update before I had to manually fold the side mirrors to enter my garage. This ensures I don't break the side mirrors as I have in the past. The side mirrors also fold automatically after park. To heat side mirrors, tap the front defrost button. The doors are a mixed bag for me. It requires at least two fingers to open and one to be a thumb. Or you can use two hands. I love that the door handles sit flushed. Flush door handles are in and it should be. However, I think the Model S door handles are more manageable. Thankfully, opening the door from the inside is easier. Just press the button and push with your elbow. The electronic unlock assist is just one out of the many things that make the Model 3 feel premium. If for some reason your Model 3 runs out of battery, use the manual pull latch. Tesla recommends to only use the pull latch in emergency. Something having to do with seat ejection that has not been thoroughly tested. The Tesla Model 3 has an all glass roof. However, on the inside, there is a pillar that runs across. The Tesla Model Y will have a true all panoramic roof. 
The glass roof is designed with UV protection, which incidentally create these rainbow colors giving the right weather conditions. The all glass roof is an interesting experience. It's like driving a car without a roof, but with a glass roof. Sometimes when I get stuck in traffic, I look up into the star wishing that I was not stuck in traffic. The charging port is quite unique as it is designed to blend in with the body. Someone who are new to the Tesla design would not easily locate the charging port door. Apparently, this is not the norm. Take the BMW i3 for example. It looks like a band-aid patch and not to mention the new Aston Martin Raptor E. And by the way, you cannot drive while charging, a question I had before and if you were wondering, you're most welcome. The camera on top of the rearview mirror can now be used as a dash cam. Combined with the side cameras for the 360-ish view called Sentry Mode, a unique layer of protection to Tesla vehicles by continuously monitoring the environment around your car when it's left unattended. Remember to turn Sentry Mode on by going in Safety and Security menu or by going into Controls in Tesla app. These two features were updates after our Model 3 arrived in October 2018. Since then, we had countless updates and I love that Tesla does not charge for these updates. Imagine having to go to your dealership just to upgrade your map and not to mention the cost involved. Tesla can push this update wirelessly and does so quite often. Speaking of wirelessly, all Teslas have Wi-Fi. And that's not all. It comes with LTE connection free for the first year and $50 every year after. LTE can be quite fast that you can load a website almost instantly, but that's not true 100% of the time. I cannot diss Tesla as it might do to weak connections in certain places. The current browser is not as robust. Actually, it's horrible. You may as well use your phone. Forget about doing anything other than Googling images and articles to reinforce your arguments with family or friends on a long road trip. Elon had mentioned that we will get an updated version of the browser based on Chromium by the end of 2019. This is one feature I look forward to. And by the way, it will also be free. I can't talk about these cool updates without mentioning the Atari games. The new update came with two more games with improved UI and speed. The trunk has a deep hole that if you are organized, can fit many emergency items, leaving the whole trunk nice and empty. There's another smaller deep hole on the left hand side and I plan to store a future portable generator for car camping in winter to power my electric blanket. This minimizes the use of the Model 3's batteries so I don't wake up stranded. The back seats are not completely flat when folded, something I wish could be possible. For now, I just park down here when I car camp. The middle seat has a headrest that can be raised and the seat can be folded down to give two more cups holders. We use these cup holders quite often to free space to the front and to secure my North Face Access backpack and Nikki's purse from sliding. The back passenger floor is completely flat, which I dig very much. It creates a spacious feeling and makes the middle seater less grumpy. I love that there are two charging USBs for the back seaters. We use these to charge our drone, GoPro, and DJI Osmo batteries, and since the floor is flat, we can charge all our tech right on the floor. Heated seat and movie setup. All five seats are heated and they can get remarkably warm. Great when driving or sleeping in Colorado winter. When rain or snow, I like to go into the Model 3, turn on the heated seat, put on my favorite disaster movies such as 2012 or 50 Shades of Grey and enjoy the movie theater experience from the Model 3's premium speakers. The bass is thumping loud without distortion at high volume and sounds are crystal clear. Perfect for cars, music, and movie. <laughs> Don't you touch him! You can find a video on my Tesla Model 3 theater setup at the top left corner of this video or in description. A quick tip, when you pair your phone or tablet via Bluetooth, you will get audio delay when watching video. You can counteract this by using a video player such as VLC and set audio delay to negative 800 milliseconds. The call quality is quite refreshing. I never had great experience with cars in my Honda or Subaru. It's so bad that I don't use it at all. Hello? Hey, just calling you to show the call quality of the Bluetooth on the Tesla Model 3. Can you hear me well? Very well. Oh, I can hear you really well too. The Model 3 Bluetooth connection is strong, 
is stay connected to my OnePlus 6T and have never disconnect. This is quite important for the Model 3 because it is also using Bluetooth connection to unlock as you are near. Furthermore, not having an engine is a big plus as it reduces noise that can interfere with cars, music, or movie. However, this is also a disadvantage for the Model 3 as you can hear every cracking sounds that the Model 3 comes with. I had to go into service for the cracking sounds at the phone charging station and they had to tighten two screws to resolve the issue. Now there are cracking sounds on the left dashboard every time I go on uneven road. And once you hear it, you will always hear it, even at max music volume. We chose the grey interior because we wanted to put red seat covers over them. As it turns out, Tesla does not recommend as that will interfere with the side airbag on the seat. But man, I am a sucker for white on red. Over time, we have gotten used to the greyest interior of the Model 3 and find it quite elegant and does not collect dust as much as we thought. In the end, we think grey interior with white exterior are a great combination and it saves us $2,000 by not going white. Even though being an all-electric car is Tesla's main selling point, the winner feature here is the 15-inch touchscreen. It has upgraded hardware compared to the Model S and X before it, and thereby UI operations are faster and smoother. The sensitivity is on point, something I didn't expect from inside the car. Most important of all is the flushed bezel. It is one glass, and the bezel is quite thin, again for a car. Actually, I think the bezel are as thin as my Samsung Tab S4 and much thinner than my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. What makes the Tesla Model 3 special versus the S and X is that the touchscreen sticks out, providing a minimalist, futuristic experience. I feel like I'm in that Tom Cruise movie where he was manipulating the projected UI by waving his hands and was running from the premonition that he will kill someone. The touchscreen controls most functions in the Model 3, including listening to music, making phone calls, and speedometer display would scare me one night as I looked to the front of the steering wheel and nothing was there. I thought the car was off. If you are put off about having all information at the touchscreen rather than looking straight at the instrument cluster like you used to, don't. You will get used to it in less than a week. My most used feature is swipe down to navigate home. And with all the excitement of dock mode in apps, well, Tesla has dock mode also activated when in docker environment. I really like the minimalist design of the Tesla Model 3 interior, one of the many reasons why we bought it. That and needing a car quick since my previous ride flooded. Here are 5 things you might not know about the Tesla Model 3. 1. The Tesla Model 3 has a flawless score from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and has been named the safest car ever made. Since there is no engine that likely kill you in a collision, Tesla has transformed the front into an empty storage that we call a frunk with crumple zones to reduce the amount of damage in a head-on collision. Oh, and there are two hangers here for grocery bags. However, Nikki and I put grocery in the trunk as the trunk is reserved for more valuable items such as my Tech North Face Access Backpack and Nikki's Purse. You can see what I have in my backpack by watching my everyday carry video by clicking on the top right-hand corner of this video or find a video in the description. The reason why the trunk is not a good place to put your valuable items is because it can be unlocked from the back seats by pulling on these two tabs. 2. All five seats are heated. We only did expect two front seats to be heated, so finding out that the back seats are heated also was a bonus. 3. To put the Tesla Model 3 on a jack, you will need a jack pad. It looks like a donut shaped hockey puck. When Tesla sent us out to a third party company to fix our scratched rim, they didn't have the jack pad ready, and I was happily provided mine to them. So it is a good idea to have at least one jack pad available for emergency. 4. Maintenance Before Tesla wants us to bring our car back every year, now with enough data collected that show fuel parts being affected by wear and tear, they are all right with us coming in only when there is a problem. 5. Like any other operating system, the one on the Tesla Model 3 can be rebooted by holding down both left and right scroll wheels on the steering wheel. I had to do this a couple times due to various reasons such as pin dialog unresponsive, windows not fully up, and false ongoing updates. Now comes the 5 things we don't like. 1. Seat's pocket is quite tight. Couldn't even fit a visor cover without worrying about it being stretched and eventually ripped. A quick tip, buy a cheap $8 sun visor. It is compact when collapsed and fit perfectly against the large Model 3 windshield. I have the $75 sun visor and it's a pain to store. You can buy four of these to cover all windows for car camping. 
2. The many defects, such as cracking noise, cosmetic defects, including paints falling off, molded defects, misalignments, airbag and seatbelt error. Since October 2018, we had to put the car in service four times, with one time having to wait three weeks to get our Model 3 back. 3. The center console is of a glossy piano black, and by the time the wrap came, we already had scratches all over. Don't be silly, wrap your willy. 4. No wireless charging. For a luxury car, wireless charging should be standard. However, it was quite a surprise that they included the USB-C and lightning cable for the charging docks. 5. No Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. The Model 3 came with a great simplistic operating system, but it wouldn't hurt to include Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for future proofing. So here comes the $60,000 question. Should you buy a Tesla Model 3? The answer is easy for us as we wanted something cleaner and future-proof. There is a satisfying feeling knowing that I will never have to visit a gas station, no worry about the wear and tear from engine stress. The instant torque alone makes it worthwhile, as you are the king in the city or maybe even on the racing track. If you are in the market for a new car, you should definitely consider it. If not, wait a couple more years and there will be more electric vehicles available. For now, the Tesla Model 3 is hard to beat.